So I'm not quite sure if you're interested in my um, my progress checks, but like I sort of feel like it's relevant if I have a mess, I may as well share the story or share the progress or share what's going on. Um, so that, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So um, I'm in cortisone therapy for the second time. Now it's like a long term therapy for four weeks. And um, I'm now sick again. <laughs> now I've got shingles, so herpes zoster. I think I can show you. I've got some dirt. Yeah, I don't know how much you can see. It's gross. It's painful. It's horrible. So it's like um, because I've got a weakened immune system and I'm on the cortisone therapy, I sort of did too much. And now I've got this, <laughs> but it sort of brings me to one point that I really wanted to mention is that um, I'm just fully, completely comprehending what a crazy life I've been living for the last three years, because now I had to slow down physically and um, I'm still doing quite a lot and people don't even notice that I'm sick. <laughs> And I feel like I'm on 5% of what I'm normally running on. And so I'm just completely, it's completely sinking in. Like I pretty much, if I can, like I work four hours in the morning, then I go skateboarding for about six hours, eight hours out of the day. And then repeat the same thing all day, every day. And, you know, going to different places and skateboarding quite a lot, like pretty in physical exercise I probably do like four hours a day and um, she's also one thing that I've been meaning to mention is that one of the big changes was as soon as I <clears throat> as soon as I faced the truth to my life as soon as I lived free from my mind um, it was very important to me to get in very close touch with my physical body so I was very um, active, I've always done sports, but more on a, you know, more on a like, go fast and go over kickers with snowboard, like more of a rough sort of, I can throw my body over everything sort of mentality. And that changed significantly. So I start like, I've always been skateboarding, but I started skateboarding a lot. And I do mention it's meditation for me, and it really is. And there's something about you need to really know um, exactly where your body is. You know your body from your fingers to your toes. It's um, very challenging physically, as um, with balance, etc. And you fall on your face, which I think, is <laughs> like if you if you make like if you make a mistake, you you suffer the consequences straight away which I quite embrace because I love, it's the visual um, representation of falling. And this is what I like talking about. I like talking about falling because we learn the most from falls. I also started climbing and all kinds of sports. Climbing is very good as well because in, there's something about you so in touch with your body and you deal with your body so much, you feel different. And this is why I'm sort of struggling at the moment because <laughs> this aspect of my meditation has sort of been shut down a bit. And, you know, this is about like, say, six hours out of my day where I'm just dealing with my body. And um, that's, I laugh about, like, I don't do yoga, but that is sort of my yoga. It's sort of the same to me. And, um, yeah, at the moment, like, I so. Even though I'm ill, I sort of feel like I can start doing something and I go do something and I always push myself. And I've been doing this for about probably 30 years of my life. <laughs> and like I always push for a bit more, a bit, a bit more. And then in the last three years, the way that I've been able to do this is crazy actually. Because like I'm 34 and I'm super fit and like I'm not even trying to be fit. But like, it's just this constant pushing of the body. And this is something that now, because now I've got the shingles, so now I'm really sick again, like I'm sick on top of sick. <laughs> um, 
and this is you know obvious proof like come on you need to slow down you need to get this right and I have mentioned this a few times that this pushing I know it's gonna run me into trouble now it's run me into trouble and I I will bow down to my body and my body's demands now because even though it's fun pushing my body I do feel like I should be around for a bit longer unless you just face your fears right now and free yourself because that would be nice um yeah no um i'm just trying to tell you as well like, like look um i freed my mind yeah but i'm still making lots and lots of mistakes i'm still growing i'm still learning um many people have talked about this growth 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 krishnamurti specifically said you don't need growth to have insight that that's it but as a human being i'm growing as a plant um, reaches for the sun, it's growing. As a tree is damaged and it needs to grow in a different way, it's growing. Life is about growth. So I am growing, we are growing this together. And insight, that's instantly. That You can have that right now. Like it's just about you facing your life, facing your fears, facing all the ideas and beliefs that you've carried with you culture, family, ideas, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> anyway, this was supposed to be a progress update. And I know I'm pretty cheerful, but it's pretty freaking horrible. Because, that, like, I wake up to pain. I keep having this real strong pain in the side of everything. <laughs> like, it hurts from my head down to all my spine. And it's not fun, but as you can see, I'm happy because it's just physical pain it's just hopefully <laughs> it's only gonna last a few for a few weeks and like maybe in four weeks i'm gonna be talking to you in a completely different manner and thank you very much for listening one love talk to you soon